So, did you check in with that boy last night? Aventus? Oh yes, Eretino. And? He seems like a normal child. Although, I'm not sure I'm a good person to ask about normal children. Elder honey, let's not talk about the Can't just throw the big log. My father says we need to just get on with our lives. Huh? Oh, excuse me. Speaking of normal children. Figured I'd get out of the noise so that we could hear each other. I appreciate that immensely. So, how is he doing? I know he was trying to contact assassins or something. Well, he's scarred, obviously. He's an orphan. Apparently, someone needs to have a stern word with a woman who runs the Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, I think. Ah. Uh, so, we're headed there after we deal with the Butcher? The Butcher? That's what they're calling whoever keeps killing the young women in this city. Yes, after we deal with the Butcher. Which reminds me, we actually need to go talk to that woman's mother. Uh, the Shadow Shield woman. Oh, Tova? Was she in there? I... I could have sworn I heard somebody talking about... Losing a sister or a daughter or something. Hopefully she will talk to us. People aren't exactly friendly to people like us around here. Indeed. I should have had your leaf put that permission in handwriting. Oh, maybe. I'm going up this way. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. This is Take an a ode seat to and Skyrim's get the cold out. truest sons and daughters. I still the can't believe comes. Isabella's gone. We drink she was to such a helpful youth, young lass. To the days come and gone. For the age of oppression is now nearly done. Well, nobody we'll is in here that I can see. That oh, we well, good. With our blood. Besides the bard, it's difficult to hear anything with her doing her thing. Indeed. So, where might she be? Probably the market this time of the day. It's pretty early, I think. Okay, let's go try the market. Don't worry, I will follow you. Be careful, somebody left an axe like around over here. Oh, delightful. Safety hazard? Just a bit. Don't cross me, elf. I won't. Hello. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? I'm actually looking for your mother. I'd better get going. Right. Well, that's... Tick one on the uncooperative box. I don't blame her. If I'm looking for her mother, it means I'm probably here to talk about her sister. And I would not blame her for wanting to not talk about it. That's a fair enough point, I suppose. Of course, now we're on a wild guar chase. Indeed. Where do you suppose the Shatter Shields might live? Nearby? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Nearby to the scene of the crime, you mean? Yes. It would make them a close and potentially easy target. Well, that's interesting. What is? Just a strangely designed mausoleum. There are a few of those around here. Ah. What was that? I'm not sure. Potentially a secret door. I don't think we should mess with this right at the moment. 
probably smart. Where have we gone? I think this is the Shatter Shield's house. I assume this is the Shatter Shield's house. Hopefully they don't mind me coming in to ask. Hopefully they don't mind us coming in to ask questions. Ah. Hello, ma'am. Sorry to bother you, but... I've been a bit out of sorts since... since our daughter was taken from us. I understand completely. I actually have some questions about your daughter. I'm sorry. She was very dear to me, and it's rather painful to think about. I'd rather not talk about my daughter, if you'll excuse me. Well, I... I'm trying to find out who did this. I was hoping you'd help. Well, all right. What exactly do you need to know? I'd like to investigate her house, but I'll need the key. Yerim? Well, I'm not sure what you think you'll find there, but you're welcome to have a look. Thank you very much. We'll be on our way. Oh, that was easy. We won't disturb you anymore, ma'am. Oh, sorry. I... Heard you come down the stairs and then didn't quite realize how long the stairs were. That is perfectly alright. So the answer is yes, they did live nearby to the scene of the crime. Which makes me wonder if the criminal lives around here too. Or else owns a business around here, perhaps. That's an interesting carving. Oh, what is it? It appears to be two bears or saber cats. And some knot work. Not work. Yes, like... Like ropes tied in knots, not like it doesn't work. Oh. Indeed. So? It smells absolutely rancid in here. Yes. Be careful where you step, there's broken glass everywhere. Uh, oh, would you like me to just stay put? No, you follow me, on the off chance that something happens. That I can certainly do. Blood stains, broken glass, a chest. Empty bottles. Some not so empty bottles. Huh. This is eerie. Isn't it just? Some of these are locked tight. There's something under there. I'm not sure I want to touch it right at the moment. Okay. Stairs going up. All right. More broken glass, also. This is rather an extensive house, actually. Interesting. There's a bed and two chairs. But not a lot of anything else. 
Did the floor seem clunkier to you in a couple of these spots, or is that just me? What do you mean? I think it's just in the bedroom there. But... Something seems... Odd. Hmm. Do you want to start tapping on walls? <laughs> I could try. Oh, is that a portal? Yes. Hold on. I'm wondering if there's something in this. In what? Well, there's a wardrobe here. I wonder. Give me a moment, I'm going to see if I can push it aside. Eh. A tiny push. Might need a bit more. Okay, do you want me to wedge my stick in there and try? If you could stand on the other end, that'd be helpful. Okay, well, we'll get this going one way or another. Eh, there's a wall here. I'll be able to... There we go. But now, we see what's behind this door, if I can figure out how to get it open. Eh. Oh dear. I'm not sure we'll want to go in there. Oh? Oh, the smell. Yes. You stay right here. Okay, I'm not going to move. One inch. At all. You do whatever you're doing. Eh, I can almost squeeze through, but my... Come on. There. Yuck. And I thought Morrowind was morbid. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know. I'm going to try not to step on anyone. Did you say anyone? Yes. Journal. Okay. Someone seems to be trying to attempt necromancy. Well, that bodes well, doesn't it? Indeed. Okay, you'll want to follow me again. Alright. Do you think that whatever it was under the... in the thingy that you were looking at has anything to do with this? It might. There's one of the flyers. And a strange amulet. Oh? Let's see. With a skull on it. That's about it. So... Some sort of necromancer doing necromancy things? Yes. Let's see what these flyers say. Something about bewaring the butcher. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behavior. Uh, I'd say we found more than suspicious behavior. We found a whole uh, room full of dead body storage. Yes, hopefully that airs out a bit. That's disgusting. And I've spent time around dead bodies. Ah, oh, good. Very good. Well, that makes one of us, at least. Maybe you'll be able to... 
offset just how absolutely disgusting I find all of this. It is absolutely disgusting. Now, where do you suspect we'll find one Viola Giordano? Uh, when in doubt, try the market. There's an ill scene. The market or the inn would be my guess. The Imperials think we need their laws. Pfft. You sort of do, unless you want to make some of your own. <laughs> I understand you purchase used goods as well as sell them. Yes, that's right. Oh, but there's a back road up here. Oh, up oh, there we go. I have some things that belong to my daughter, Frida. There we are. She, she won't be needing them anymore. Here we are. Yes. Oh, very nice. Yes, of course, I'll take a look. Just bring them by whenever it's convenient for you. Oh. There's Tova. Where is Viola? Ah, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Perhaps better, since you can see. True, but if you hear her, let me know. Okay. I can hear whatever that is. I have no idea what that is. Oh, excuse I me. I made my fortune as a sea cup, but now I'm retired. She's not down there. I doubt she'd have any reason to be in the Grey Quarter. The oh. Is that the place where all of the Dunmer in the city live? I think so. Which is an insult, but... Careful, courier incoming. Oh, sorry! Well, I sort of dodged that one, but also sort of didn't. There's someone. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Are you Viola? Be After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Indeed. Well, it's good to see you. We'll come track you down again after we speak with your leaf. Mm-hmm. Women murdered time and again, and all the guards care about is the war. Well, I can hardly blame them. It is rather... You know... A pressing issue. Very, very true. There's the man. Well, we've been all over the place. If you have any news of the Western Holds, take it to Ulfric immediately. Actually, I wanted to ask about this amulet. Do you have any idea what it is? I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Thank you. Calixto at the House of Curiosities. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. Oh, it certainly is. Thank you. Ah, great. Who is he, I wonder? I think he was the one that was at the crime scene. Oh, oh, just lovely. So we need to find a place that we don't know where it is. Exactly. Oh, I forgot to... There's a giant t statue of Talos here. Okay. The sound of our and a little girl running around with a helmet and a sword. <laughs> That's cute. Our friendship, a cloak of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. Something about a merry band of brothers. 
as one does. I must agree with the old Nord. About what? About there being no honor in war. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. I think the people who wrote the old stories would agree with, would disagree with you, but I suppose it also depends on who wrote them, so... Yeah. Oh, well this looks like a likely place. Alright, lead the way. Try not to get stabbed. Can I help you? It is you. Hello. You don't seem particularly pleased to see us. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. I might do a bit of browsing, actually. But before I do... Do you know anything about this amulet? Let me see. Ah, yes. This is the Wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of Windhelm. Traditionally, it's carried by the court mage. I would, uh, be interested in acquiring it. If you're willing to part with it, that is. For a piece like that, I could pay... 500 gold? I think I'll hold on to it for the time being. It is, after all, evidence. Suit yourself. It's only of value to collectors, though. Good luck finding anyone else who will appraise it that highly. Well... You know what? The Wheelstone? Have you decided to sell it yet? Sure. You have yourself a deal. Wonderful. This will be a splendid addition to my private collection. Interesting choice. Yes, indeed. Very interesting. Yeah, uh, your collection of embalming tools. Very nice. Oh, dear. Well, that was an interesting choice. So we know it's him. Well, we have mounting evidence that it's him. Should you have kept the amulet? Well, maybe. We got gold out of him, and his enthusiasm to have the amulet in his collection makes me wonder if it belonged to him in the first place. Okay. Good. Good. So, what now? Now we try to find Viola again. Ah. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. And hopefully, she will want to investigate with us? Hopefully. Although I don't especially blame her for not. Look deeply into the faces of the warriors. Is that her? No. There she is. Hello. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Indeed. Would you do us a favor and meet us at that house? The one with all of the blood stains in front of it. We found some things and I think we should probably investigate. Be careful. That murderer could be anywhere. And anyone! Yes, indeed. So you want to go investigate the house with her? With any luck. Hopefully she's heading in that direction. Be surprised if she gets lost, considering how massive this city seems to be. Oh, sorry. I almost got lost there. Indeed.
Oh, somebody seems to have... Oh, down. Down here. Uh, sorry about that. I was just trying to... You know, listen and keep myself from slipping around. The boots are taking a bit of adjustment, but that's alright. Somebody cleaned up the blood stains. So this could be interesting. And now we wait. And now we wait. Well, we've been waiting here for hours. It looks like Viola is a no-show. Yes, indeed. So, what's the plan now? Well, I do have one more idea. What's that? Maybe we should go talk to the court mage. See what he has to say about that amulet. Oh. Well, in that case, we should have kept it. Eh, hopefully his description will suffice. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Oh. To your right here. Okay, coming. I'm beginning to rely less and less on your descriptions of places, though. I'm not sure if it's working, actually. Yeah. Well, we could talk to your leaf as well, but. Call the mage first. I suspect he's upstairs. What makes you think that? Just a hunch. At this point, I'm just following whatever hunches I can find, really. Well, I suppose that's one way of doing it. Trouble? Oh, sorry. Uh, excuse me. I will let you two work that out. Just know that- oh, never mind. I <laughs> just need to wait for him to move, everything's fine. Right. It smells like bones in here. I didn't know bones had a smell. Excuse me, you're the court mage, are you not? Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. I've heard you dabble in necromancy. I beg your pardon? Necromancy? I am a member of the College of Winterhold. In good standing, they haven't allowed necromancy for hundreds of years. I found a journal and an amulet where the butcher worked. Calixto seemed to think that the journal... Well, not the journal. The amulet was something of yours. My what now? I've never kept a journal, I can assure you. What exactly did this amulet look like? Roughly eight-sided, I think. Jade, ringed with ebony. A worn carving. I know it well. Or at least I've heard of it. I would wager that carving once depicted a skull. That is the necromancer's amulet of legend. It appears you were at least half right. There is necromancy at the heart of this. So I guess Calixto is wrong. Yeah. Calixto and his books are often confused about such matters. It happens to the best of us. So what can we do now? I've been noting a pattern to when the killings happen. Now that we know they're tied in to some sort of necromantic ritual, I think I know when the next might occur. Let's see. 
from a lordess of last seed until a middis of hearth fire. It will happen soon, very soon. Keep watch in the stone quarter tomorrow night. That's almost certainly where the killer will strike next. Last seed and hearth fire? It's first seed now. Indeed. I take it back, it's Raiden's hand. Right. So... Interesting. Well, we will go wait. Okay. This should be fun. Are we just going to camp out in the market all night? Until we find something? Well, maybe. Honestly, knowing that, I'd rather just wait the rest of the night and see what happens. Ah, that's going to be cold. Although I suppose I've had worse. I most certainly have. Someone's in a hurry. Indeed. I wonder if Viola went home for the night. I would not blame her at all if she wanted to lay low after all of this. We have caused quite a stir. There we are. So we're just going to camp out, are we? There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Yes, we're just going to camp out. Let's see if anything happens. I'm not sure I trust his timing, but I also don't know what the timing is supposed to be, so... Fair point? Back here. Oh. There he is. Keep your head down and out of my way. <laughs> what was that? I saw him pull a knife and comfort that elven woman. Figured I'd stop it before it got out of hand. Well. Now I need to get my arrow back. Before someone links it to... Someone else. Oh, there's the amulet back. I think perhaps we should report this body to your leaf. <laughs> I think perhaps we should, yes. Bastard. So when you said that you were a bastard to other bastards, this is the sort of thing you meant? Well, not exclusively. I'm still surprised you didn't do something like punch out Rolf Stonefist's lights. Stonefist, you say? I, I think that was his name. Maybe? Well, I didn't think he was worth it. You didn't think he was worth it, even though he was standing around berating and just generally being a complete unnecessary waste of air? No. I figured he would get what was coming to him eventually. 
That sounds terrifying when you say it. Well, thank you. I would hope so. Oh boy. Here he is. The man himself. Oh, Yorlief. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Well, we have news for you. Calixto Corium was the butcher. Izmir's beard. The man was always a bit odd, but I wouldn't have expected. You've done the city a mighty service, friend. I believe you'll find the guards to be a bit more cordial with you in the future. Why, thank you. If I'm looking for work in the future, I will come talk to you. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. A little bit less dangerous now than it was, right? <laughs> well, that was... something. The guards will be more courteous to us? Cordial? One of those? Indeed. Well, now what? Now I think we've earned a good night's sleep. And we'll head for Riften in the morning. What was in Riften? Oh, I have to take care of... a bit of an errand for our friend Aventus Seratino. Oh, right. Deliver a... or was it... Uh, I seem to have quite forgotten what the favor was. Oh, I just have to take a message to one of his friends. He misses them dearly. Ah, okay. He could have gotten a courier to do that. What courier is going to go into a house in which a little boy is doing a ritual to summon an assassin? Fair point. To the end, then. I think so. Drinks on me. <laughs> I think you're the only one carrying coin right at the moment. So, yes, drinks really are on you. Oh, we have plenty of it. Thanks to Mr. Calixto. <sighs> Heavy sigh. Just... This is not exactly how I was expecting to help Skyrim, but I'm not going to complain. Taking out racists and other cruel people. Drinks on me.